hi guys welcome back to my channel vlog talk where we vlog and talk and we are going to get right into a word of prayer let us pray father god we just come before you to say thank you lord we thank you for who you are we thank you father god for just waking us up this morning close in our right mind and forgetting about everything around us father god that has nothing to do with your love and your blood father we thank you for the blood we thank you for uh just waking us up one more time father god and allowing us to give you the praise and being thankful and grateful to be alive among the land of the living father god we just want to thank you lord we thank you for our clothes and shoes on our back and the roof over our head we are psalms 91 equipping all the degrees said amen all right praise god where our title for today is finished works finished works we're actually coming from the book of Hebrews chapter 4, verse 3. And I'm going to read that in the CEV translation. And it reads, Only the people who have faith will enter the place of rest. It is just as the scripture says. God became angry and told the people, You will never enter my place of rest. God said this, Even though everything has been ready from the time of creation. And all I want you guys to know is, Jesus restored it all on a cross of Calvary. So, of course, I have a story for you. So there was a situation where my daughter and I, we went to Walmart. And when we got there and I began to walk through one of the aisles, the Holy Spirit came upon me to warn me that something had happened, that there was something that was wrong. And I told the Lord, I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, well, what is wrong? What's going on? When my daughter and I were done making our purchase and we began to leave Walmart, um, enter back into the, to the parking lot, there was an officer by my car. And I was so surprised to see this officer. And I asked the officer, what's going on? And the officer said, well, you know what you did. You hit this car over here and then you parked your car right here i said what he said that's right you did a hit and run i said what and he said i need to see some license and registration and i showed him license and registration and proof of insurance and everything and i assured him that i did not hit anyone's car but he was convinced that i did he said that there were witnesses that said that i did hit the car but i asked him well where's the where are the witnesses he said well they're gone or something i said well wait a minute if you're saying that there's witnesses then where are they he said well they're they're gone but they said that you hit the vehicle blah 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 and oh my goodness so you know how you're supposed to tell jesus first you're supposed to come to the father first with your burdens with your problem well i did the opposite i told my friends my family people that i didn't even talk to about the problem I cried. I lost weight. I regurgitated a bit over the situation. It was just really, really bad. I was getting bags under my eyes. So many things was happening to me because I was worried and this ease caused disease. So I was this eased about the situation. Anyway, um, I asked myself, I said, wait a minute, do you know who you are? And I said, oh my God, I'm the righteousness of God. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. So I took the Bible and I went under Mark 11 and 24. And under Mark 11 and 24, it talks about whatsoever things you desire when you pray. Believe that you receive those things and you shall have them. So I began to study the word and I fast for three days and I was able to give me a lawyer and I prayed to God. I said, Father God, I know you are in the midst of this. Use this lawyer, Father God, to bring me out. I'm believing in you, Father God, for the case to be thrown out in the name of Jesus. So we get, we get the court. And as we get the court and everything, I bring the Bible and I show my attorney, Mark 11 and 24, the scripture. And I say, I said, see, look at this Bible. Look, look, look at it. Look at it. Um, the Lord said that if we believe we receive these things, that we should have them. That uh, put our trust in the Lord. And he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I think we might have something here. Just hold on. But he was looking at something else. I was like, okay, I don't know what you looking at, but I'm looking at this word. I don't know what to do, but my ass is on the Lord. And we get there and everything. The prosecutor gets up and he he uh, talks about exhibit A and exhibit B and exhibit C and all of this, right? And so the prosecutor looks over to individuals that he was representing. And he told them, oh, I think we got her now. We got her. And so these witnesses that stated that I hit the vehicle, they got up there and all three of them testified to me not hitting the vehicle so i'm like wait a minute these are you guys as witnesses and they're testifying to the fact that i did not hit a vehicle which i did not hit so the table seemed like it's already turning on the enemy long story short 
the judge had to throw the case out due to the fact that I was charged for the wrong thing. They charged me for a hit and run and the three witnesses already stated that I did not hit a vehicle. <laughs> it was so crazy. There were three witnesses that all stated that I did not do such a thing. So the judge had no choice but to throw it out and find me not guilty. But I believe that I was not guilty because of the blood. It is the blood. See, the Lord knew that this would, these false accusations would be uh, before me. So he sent his son, Jesus, to lay down his life on Calvary to reverse that thing. Hallelujah. And that's just my story. See, um, we must understand that Jesus paid the price with his blood. See, God's blood also give us access. When Jesus got up there on the cross, and say it is finished. Talk about how we even got access in the first place. So when Jesus got up, laid down his life, before he gave up the ghost, he said it is finished. Now what does that mean? Um, actually, the word it is finished means tatalicia, and tatalicia is a commonly used term used by accountants, meaning paid in full. See, Jesus paid it all on the cross. See, I was found not guilty because of what Jesus had accomplished before the foundation of the world. See, the Lord knew that you would be going through uh, various things. And the Lord knew that I would be faced with various things. So this is why it's important to know about his finished works. Because of his finished works, again, he's reversed the curse. And also, if I may say, his finished works has a lot to do with prosperity. See, he gives us access to prosperity because of what he has accomplished on the cross. What about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? See, Abraham, he established a covenant with the father. See, the Lord knew that he would be the father of many nations. It's all a part of his finished works. So he made him a father of many nations. What about Jacob? Jacob went from an employee to an employer. Why? Because it's a part of his finished works. The Lord was able to turn everything around for them. Hallelujah. The Lord was able to make all grace abound toward them because of what Jesus had accomplished because of his blood. He turned it around. And see, that's why if you're faced with an eviction that you can count on the blood for the money to show up. If you're faced with an illness, you can count on the blood for healing to manifest all because of what he had accomplished on the cross. So his finished works has a lot to do with your healing. Praise God. Um, you can experience this Shekinah glory concerning your healing because of what Jesus had accomplished. What about some people in the Bible um, that knew that the works were finished? Like the leper. What's the first thing he did? He gave God the praise. Why? What's going on with that? Because he knew, hey, I know that the Lord knew. The leper had to have known that the Lord knew that he would be faced with such sickness. So he began to give God the praise and bless his holy name and put his faith on display once again in order to access the grace, which is in his case, the healing. And he said, Lord, if it be your will, let me be healed. And the Lord said, I will, I will heal you. And he healed him. What about the centuron? The centuron said, hey, you don't need to come to the house but you can speak the word only see he knew that if the lord spoke the word to him that he will deliver that word to his servant and his servant shall be healed because he had faith in the finished works this is all a part of the finished works before he gave up the ghost also let's talk about the faith that the centuron had in the first place see the finished works is important to have in order to obtain the grace right I'll say it again. The finished works has a lot to do with you obtaining the grace. The elders were able to obtain a good report. A good report. Why? Because they have faith in Jesus' finished works. See, it's all about believing and trusting what the Lord had accomplished. Because I know in my situation, when I was faced with that false accusation, I had no choice but to believe in the Father because everybody around me was telling me that I would be going to jail, that I would be doing some jail time, that bad things would happen to me. And I had to curse those words and put my faith in the finished works of Jesus. Finished works will bring you abundance and more than enough. Just like he did Jacob. See, there were four wells that uh, his employees were they discovered in the valley. See, the wells were there before they had even got there. Before they even got there, the wells were there. The wells were already there. What I'm saying is, is that whatever we need has already been established. Notice that in the book of Genesis, God created the heaven and the earth. 
Amen. And after he created the heaven and the earth, he also created everything that man would ever need. Then he created Adam. Because this is also a part of his finished works. He would have never created us if he did not establish wholeness in our life. Also talk about how the finished works will also allow us to be preserved in the midst of the famine. Let's talk about the first famine in the days of Abraham. The Lord established a covenant with him and therefore Abraham was able to um, experience restoration on multiple levels he was able to get everything restored back to him and the same thing with isaac isaac sold in his land and received in the same year a hundredfold second famine what about the third famine the third famine was the famine of the shinomite woman that was the seven year famine that took place elijah told her the lady I need you to leave for seven years for the Lord has told me that there's going to be a famine in the land for seven years. But when she came back, notice that she found favor in the sight of the king who restored all that was lost even until this day. That was the third famine. And this is the fourth famine, the COVID-19. See, the Lord knew that there would be a fourth famine in the land. And just like he restored everything that was lost to Abraham, everything that was lost to Jacob, everything that was lost. To Isaac, he has restored everything onto you because of what he has accomplished on the cross. Because everything that we would ever need, the Lord had went before us. See, when I think about the Lord dying on the cross, I think about he going before me. He going before me. And because he was able to preserve the individuals that I just named in the midst of the famine, he's also able to preserve you. He's also able to preserve me. That's why I was found not guilty because of the blood. See, he preserved me. He protected me in the midst of that confusion. Hallelujah. And he didn't let any harm or hurt or danger come near me. All because of what Jesus has accomplished on the cross. Praise God. And also I want you guys to know that Everything has been taken care of before the foundation of the world and everything has been accomplished for you because of what Jesus had accomplished. Therefore, we have access to this grace by faith. And remember, remember that if grace didn't make it, then faith cannot take it. And always understand that we have access because of what Jesus died and accomplished on the cross of Calvary. All right, guys. Well, I trusted that you enjoyed that teaching. I'm going to ask that you hit that notification bell so that you may be posted on each time I post a video. I'm also going to ask that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now I'm going to do my virtual altar call. And I'm going to say, if the world will be ending today, would you be going to heaven or to hell? If the answer is no or I don't know, then repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord, I come to you now, just as I am. You know my life. You know how I've lived. Forgive me, Lord. I believe that Jesus died and rose the third day. Hallelujah. You are saved. Now I'm going to speak to you, the human spirit. I challenge you today to open up your Bible, find out more about who you are in the Lord. And you're going to begin to receive a gift called the Holy Ghost. Also discover what Jesus had already accomplished on the cross of Calvary. And I'm going to close this out in prayer. Let us pray. Father, we just want to come before you to say thank you for your finished works. Thank you for who you are. We thank you for being Alpha and Omega. We thank you for allowing us to bless you and call you Father, Lord. We just want to thank you, Father God. Thank you for revelation knowledge, God. Thank you for what you have done on the cross, God. Making things easier for us, Father God. Hallelujah allowing us to fight the good fight of faith and lay hold of eternal life why because we were able to see father god that the works were finished before the foundation of the world why because you went before us father god and laid down your life on the cross to assure that it was finished and so father god we want to thank you thank you and thank you we bless your holy name it is because of your finished works that we can be psalms 91 equipped father we thank you in the mighty name of jesus and all that agree said amen all right guys thank you so much for tuning in to my channel vlog talk and it's always a pleasure to vlog and talk